How to connect your new FMS Reflex version 3 to Bluetooth. I'll show you. What can, uh, you know, what can we do with the Bluetooth? Well, we can go to the alien settings and we can uh, move the angle adjustment on the stabilized mode. How to connect your new FMS Reflex version 3 to Bluetooth. I'll show you step by step right now. So, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have your reflex connected to your receiver and bound to a transmitter. We're going to cut the transmitter on. And then we're going to boot up our airplane. And then we're going to get the tablet out and show you how to connect it to Bluetooth. So, let's let this guy get energized and bound up. And we can see that it is uh, starting to initialize right now. And we'll... So we know it's live. So now it's time to get our phone or our tablet. So one thing I noticed in the previous video is that you need to have your phone or your tablet in the upright position. If you have it like this, you don't get to see all of the choices on the FMS app. So we're going to turn on the tablet and you're going to go to the app store and download the FMS Reflex app. You need to start from scratch like this every time to connect. And we're still booted up, right? Connect now. I know and it can already see my reflex and it is connected you have to start from scratch each time if you let's say let's just close everything out and try to go back and connect now And it is searching and searching and searching and searching. It is timed out. So you have to start from scratch each time. Let's do it again here. I'll close it out. We're going to turn off the reflex. And then we'll turn the airplane back on and let it uh, reboot. Once you're connected to Bluetooth, you can make the two little adjustments they allow us to mess with, which is the gain sensitivity and the angle that the stabilized mode holds your airplane at. You know, it might have a 45 degree bank angle as the max. Well, you can change that just a little bit. So we're, we're booted back up. FMS Reflex app. I'll show you the difference from having your phone sideways or standing up. Connect now. I know. There's my reflex and connect and we're connected. So if you had your phone this way, and let's say we want to uh, switch airplanes, right? And we'll just pick the beaver because it was right there. So now I'm trying to drag up from the screen. And I can't drag up. Do our beaver again. And here is the blue button that says synchronized data. The synchronized data is telling your reflex that you now want the beaver in the reflex so I was a little too close and that's with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if, if you're too close to the device that you're connecting to sometimes the signal won't work so I put the I put the reflex behind us here a foot or two so connect now I know there it is it found it connect 
connected. We got the Kingfisher. No, that's the Super Ease. So that's switching airplane. And we want our Beaver. And the blue button synchronized data. We can see it because the phone is up and down. If we go sideways like this, Beaver. And we can't get to the synchronized data. So Beaver. Synchronize the data. So now the Beaver is in the reflex. What can we do with the Bluetooth? What kind of changes can we make? Well, the parameter settings. Oh, well, we can go to the alien settings and we can uh, move the angle adjustment on the stabilized mode. You know, the stabilized mode is keeping your airplane level and keeping the bank angles, you know, level or, or, or to a limited uh, stop. It, you know, allows your airplane to bank, let's say, 45 degrees. Well, we can change it higher or lower and then the optimized mode is which is just stability for the gust of wind which is the gain we can change the gain sensitivity and then the other choice is optimized mode and manual mode active bar adjustment which is using a uh, a two position switch would be like zero or 100 a three position switch would be negative 100, zero, and then positive 100. So you could change where you, where you want the switch to change it. Elevator settings, the same thing. You can change the angle limit for the stabilized mode. You can change the sensitivity for the optimized mode. And then the rudder sensitivity. Looks like you can only change the rudder sensitivity. That's all. So we'll do tons of this stuff in coming up. I'm building another uh, test plane for us. So anyways, connecting your reflex to Bluetooth. You must start from scratch. Have your reflex a little ways away from your phone or your tablet. Have the phone in the upright position. And then you can connect it to Bluetooth. Okay guys, hey, that's it. I just wanted to help you out real quick in case you want to connect to Bluetooth. And we'll do lots more videos coming up uh, coming up shortly with the uh, Reflex version 3. Hey, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up. That's the best way to support me. That's what the YouTube algorithm needs to see. The feedback from the viewers helps put my videos in front of other people. So, thank you guys. At 20,000, I'll give away three jets. Adios. Happy flying.